Hi, this is Yoko van Dam. I was so blessed to run a two-day women in leadership program. And one of the topics that does exceptionally well is negotiation skills. And I wanted to just share some of the insights on what happened in our negotiation skills group activity. We were a group of 30 people and I had to make sure that everyone had the opportunity to either negotiate or then sit in as a leader, as a, a coach where they can give insights when people come back from the negotiation and then they have the voice to go and step in and negotiate themselves. Some of the insights that I saw, because this was all online, on camera, over Zoom, is sometimes when a group of two people went in to negotiate and around, one person would be very dominating and they would completely take over the conversation. Well, the other person is trying to say something. So if you have a meeting with someone, whether it's in person or online, can you observe the body language of not only your clients, but also your team member to see if they actually want to say something? Ways to notice that is, are they shifting forward in their chair or doing something of their hand or raising their hand? Can you see that they are slightly opening their mouth? Can you check the body language cues? to see if you should actually get someone else to also say something. It's really important to be aware of body language. Sometimes you can actually observe if a person is, is, is overwhelmed by looking at their facial expression as well. So I was watching these body language cues from all of these women and laughing on the back end. Chris Foss is a negotiation skills expert who wrote the book, Never Split the Difference. And he says the most important thing that you can do is to listen. What the FBI tends to do in a negotiation with a hostage takeover is they'll even have three FBI agents listening in on, over the phone to make sure that they're not dropping any balls and that they're all on that same level. So you want to make sure that you rather craft really good questions that you can ask them than that you are overriding the entire conversation.